All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday start of the work week here is upon us. May 5th, 2025 is the date. Local time here in California, 10.52 a.m. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 1.2 there into Southern California. Looks like uh, that's outside the San Andreas Fault Zone here towards the, uh, pretty close to the Arizona border. California, Oregon, or California, Arizona border. As uh, far as any other activity down here across Southern California, looks pretty quiet for now. As far as anything above 2.5, a handful of smaller quakes across the area of Southern California, but really nothing of any abnormal uh, movement for now. Further up down, further up the road, I should say, along the San Andreas Fault, a couple smaller earthquakes from yesterday and today around the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Bay Area remains quiet. One earthquake here outside of Santa Rosa, 1.2. Uh, eventually, this has to fill in here. It can't stay quiet for uh, for so long. I think maybe looking at some larger activity here in this region soon. And I say that just because of a lot of swarming here in the general region over the last couple months, up until probably about the last two weeks or so it's just gone absolutely quiet uh, there across the northern sacramento valley a 1.7 outside of red bluff pacific northwest relatively quiet uh, the rest of the uh, country out here oil fields still rocking and rolling with earthquakes new madrid seismic zone continues to sleep for now a little bit of uptick here across the area of the Prucheli trench and the middle america trench here as expected Let's take a look here at some of these earthquakes. Most of this earthquake activity here along those trench lines, uh, trench zones, are a result of this activity here, 6.0, from last night. A uh, little fracture boundary out here between the Antarctica and the Nazca plate. Also, the movement down south here, that 7-pointer we had a, a couple days ago, adding further strain and crunching this area, so to speak. So there along the middle America trench early this morning, local time, 1 a.m., uh, almost a six-pointer, 5.8. They have this listed uh, about 161 miles deep into the subduction zone of the Middle America Trench. You can see it quite nicely here on the oceanic crust map. Look at those that ridge right there. Pacific Plate, or I should say the, um, the uh, Cocos Plate here. There's a smaller Cocos Plate right here. Pacific Plate boundaries back over here. So the Cocos Plate being subducted underneath this region here. That's a portion of the North American plate and the Caribbean plate here. So strain is increasing in this area. That's a super deep earthquake, 5.8, uh, uh, almost 200 miles deep into that subduction zone. Let me see if we got anything else stirring up there uh, as far as surface adjustment goes. Wow, it looks like uh, Earthquake 3D Globe here just adjusted the time itself here by itself. It normally doesn't do that, but it's supposed to be the last 24 hours here on the globe. So there we go. A little bit of surface adjustment following that deeper earthquake there on the map um, at that uh, region here. So we'll watch that. It's like any other subduction zone around the globe. These deeper quakes can contribute and add further strain and produce bigger earthquakes upstream here uh, where a lot of the locked zone is. So continue to keep an eye on that, that newer movement. Also some newer activity down here into the Perucheli Trench, 5.3 into the Chile area, 10 miles deep there right around the locked area of the Peru Chile trench subduction zone that's another player and producing some big time earthquakes that's northwest of santiago chile but things have been somewhat amplified out here following the movement down south with that big seven pointer and last night's six pointer out here uh, things on the move and uh, it's showing obviously out there in the last 24 hours uh, further around the caribbean plate uh, puerto rico region a couple earthquakes out here uh, in the two and three range, there's a 3.7, couple threes out there. Got to remember this Caribbean plate here is in between two major plate boundaries, the South America region, right? I'll show you guys here on this map. Uh, South America plate and the North American plate. Uh, fairly small plate system here, the Caribbean plate that is, but it gets squeezed around and subducted and pushed and pulled and... Uh, it's definitely showing a lot of signs of strain here recently around the Puerto Rico Trench area. Let me show you guys the last seven days of activity, specifically up here around that major subduction zone region north of San Juan. About 53 earthquakes of various magnitudes. The largest one, uh, 5.6 over here around the 
uh, Cruz Bay area of the U.S. Virgin Islands. So uh, watch this area, right? It's capable of producing some large earthquakes. And of course, uh, earlier in the year, we had a decent seven-pointer out here. Uh, just off of this fracture boundary. So, all right, let's see what else we got here across the globe elsewhere. I'm going to pull up the Earthquake 3D globe so we can see. Make sure the bells are off. Make sure I'm recording. I don't want to start off on Monday having to redo an update. Uh, we got Taiwan over here swarming right now. That's not a good sign. A bunch of fours and some fives out there. Some fairly new activity. That's going to be this movement right here. 4.7 and the most recent. Let's see. Yeah, the most recent is going to be a 5.7 there. This region... Um, it's been swarming a lot. Last year we had a, a decent sized earthquake out here. It uh, had some aftershock sequences and then it had a big swarm of six pointers and then it just died off. It looks like it's starting to kick back up again here. Uh, but with this movement, this renewed activity here, that amplifies and creates more strain out there against the Nankai Trough Zone. That's a major subduction zone area that the Japanese Meteorological Agency there put a mega quake warning on last year because of all the activity down south here around it um, the general plate strain out here shows that um, it's under quite a bit of um, quite a bit of pressure look at these arrows all pointing towards that region so the Filipino plate moving off to the northwest increasing movement down here around Taiwan means the uh, plate area up here around the north is uh, being uh, applied pressure so we'll keep an eye on that Definitely got a lot of activity stirring up here. That Nankai trough right in that middle point boundary. Uh, there's one earthquake here yesterday into the Japan region, but uh, let's see what else we got up north. Not a whole lot up there right now. Pretty quiet across the Curl Cam Chatka. 3.9 around the Philippines right now, and a 3.1 Java Trench. Pretty good cluster going on here in the uh, Crunch Zone today. Keep an eye on those major uh, subduction zones. A little bit of movement around Solomon Islands westward here through Papua New Guinea. Nothing big happening there for now. Uh, New Zealand, looks like a 4.2 earthquake occurred underneath North Island. Uh, let's see, a lot of deep activity here recently. That's only 28 miles deep, but it's in an interesting zone here. The southern end of the Hikarangi subduction zone. Look at that major subduction zone. Very visible on the oceanic crust view. 28 miles deep into that uh, region for a 4.2. Continue to watch that area because it's been, well, it's been building up steam like a lot of other subduction zones as well. And a lot of deeper activity underneath North Island recently. 4.2 and then a bunch of uh, a little bit larger quakes upstream along the Kermadec Trench. A bunch of forest stirring up there today. A lot of activity stirring up on the southern side of the planet south of the equator uh, for the rest of the globe here fairly active across the uh, Middle East and the Mediterranean regions as well threes fives even a couple fours out there from yesterday but uh, you can see the plate boundary quite nicely on the move here today fairly deep earthquake in uh, the eastern Afghanistan mountains with that 4.3 India 3.8 uh, let's go ahead and check out the Santorini, Greece area real quick. I want to see if we got anything of any major interest. Still got a, a decent amount of earthquakes swarming. The counts are, well, the counts are staying roughly about the same. 100 in the last week, 107. That uh, is definitely a lot less than what it was here a number of weeks ago. We were looking at thousands of earthquakes a day. Um, let's see what we got. The latest one, Western Texas, 1.9. They, they do show worldview earthquakes. But here around the Santorini, Greece area, a bunch of twos and some ones out there. I don't see anything large uh, for now. Let's see if there's anything else going on out here across the area. Alaska, little swarm of quakes here from yesterday, a little bit today as well, with some twos, even a four-pointer in there. Uh, nothing really new to report. Just... Pretty good cluster of movement out here across the Aleutian Trench, everywhere except for back over here, right? And normally, uh, that should fill in. See, even in the last 30 days here, it's been awfully quiet. 
across that area. So we'll watch that little seismic gap zone as well. Just uh, a bunch of stuff going on out here. A lot of movement everywhere but uh, San Francisco and a little bit down there in Southern California. But really, this is common on any given day. Uh, let's check out space weather activity. Everyone's chatting about this massive sunspot here, 4079. And it is large. It is huge. But it is not uh, magnetically complex out here, at least to the point of where we would be watching for some strong solar flares. Now, the colors here, dark blue, red over here, kind of has a, uh, a little bit of a, a separation core here. Now, that's really not what you want to see when it comes to uh, sunspots evolving into something that can produce larger flares. This sunspot here, uh, I don't remember the name on it, uh, D -D 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 -E. but this is a prime example here from spaceweatherlive.com of a very complex beta gamma delta structure with a lot of blues and reds close together and a bunch of individual cores all within the main sunspot area and that is a very dynamic sunspot that produced that x 2.3 flare this is just an example of what you want to see you know compared to just uh, an area that's massive in coverage but not a whole lot of intermixing there of those magnetic complex uh, magnetic uh, colors there so we would want to see more blues and and um, red intermixing up here maybe down south as well but I, I'm not really seeing any thing yet. Uh, it's just been holding steady. Doesn't mean it's not going to. These things can uh, rapidly evolve, but for now it looks stable. Another new sun, sunspot around uh, to the uh, further to the eastern limb here, eastern quadrant of the sun, and another one further down towards the southeast. But those are. Um, I don't know if that one's developing. It looks like that kind of popped up out of the blue. 4082, that was last night. Uh, 4081 not growing so much. 4082 down here may be showing a little signs of complexity, a little bit of growth here with a different, uh, a couple different popcorn colors in there. I, just, I call them popcorn colors because they're just popping up all over the place. That's kind of what you want to see uh, for a sunspot that might be growing. But this one here has already got a clear cut core. And uh, we'll just, we'll kind of watch this one here. I don't, I don't really see anything in near term that's going to produce a strong flare. We got a little bit of sea flare activity right now, and it's not even from the massive one. It's back over here. Even though it's got a, a little clear cut core, 4081, uh, it looks like yeah, maybe deep in here. We'd have to zoom in, but maybe deep within this clear cut core, there's some uh, little colors. If you look really closely. Uh, but that is producing a little bit of sea flare activity right now. And it is showing up on the UV filter of the sun right here. Uh, maybe a small amount across this area. But we'll watch it, see how it plays out. The flare threat, not all that great right now. They're showing a 5% chance for an X flare. Unless something changes, I really don't see that. M flare, probably fairly reasonable between 35 maybe 45% chance there uh, for some M flare activity. Massive sunspot area. But... Uh, the complexity is not there. No major roars in the forecast for now. And as you can see, 4079 harbors a beta gamma structure and is stable. As far as any close approach asteroids here to the planet, hopefully there is none, but I do like to double check. Um, May 6th, this is uh, for tomorrow here, newly discovered asteroid uh, that's within a million miles but that's still well outside the earth moon uh, location everything else they're fairly safe as well this one's a little bit closer uh, but it's uh, for a 21 foot bus size asteroid coming in on the uh, 8th of may even then though that's fairly safe forest storm prediction center severe weather well looks like the hail threat returns out to western texas again i tell you what Last week I was out there, and Texas knows how to get the hail done. Let me tell you. Found out firsthand. Uh, so a little bit of tornado threat down there as well. Looks like uh, Reed Timmer may be down there chasing storms with the Dominator and his team. 5% tornado chance there today around Midland, Fort Stockton area. Wind, some big-time wind and hail threats out there. A little bit out east as well, but uh, and nothing too concerning. There is a little tornado threat out there in the green. So just be weather aware. 
as uh, you start the work week here. Day two, that severe weather shifts a little bit further to the east. Got some tornado and wind threats out there already as well across Austin and San Antonio. Uh, far as, uh, let's see, what else is there? Live seismic live seismograph stations here. We got one earthquake on Anza right now. See that little spike? It's down in Southern California. So let's see where that's at. Where's my USGS page? There we go. <laughs> Still haven't recovered. Still feels like I have jet lag from uh, the trip out there. Um, 1047. That's not going to be it. It doesn't look like it's up here yet. Far as that um, spike right here on the graph. It just came in at about 1800 universal universal time there that would be at 11 o'clock my time about eight minutes ago so nothing it's not this one that just came in there that's way up around the geysers but the anza station sits uh down here close to the uh, elsinore fault so maybe a little bit of activity stirring up here right now but it, it's not all that big it looks like a very small quake and localized to that seismograph station there all right, uh, let's see. What else is there, folks? I think that's about it. Um, member drawing coming up here in uh, 10 days on the 15th. Something that we do every single month. We give away prizes there to our members. Kind of a show of appreciation. And, uh, of course, along with the drawing, you get extra videos, extra emojis, extra perks, all that good stuff there for being a member. And... Uh, yeah, there's a couple of neat videos on there that I provided for the members here over the last uh, week or so. So go check that out. Become a member. But yes, we'll be doing the drawing here in about 10 days. Give away some uh, prizes there. Alrighty. Uh, just stay safe out there. And we will catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. It's, it's definitely a mixed bag of earthquake activity all over the place right now. Uh, the plates are for sure on the move. I still think uh, with this activity recently down south here that we need to watch the Prucheli Trench. It is showing some signs of strain following all this movement. Also the Caribbean plate area. Uh, Middle America Trench, that deeper movement quake as well. Indicative of the pressure up here along the Middle America Trench. Looks like uh, the Gulf here of California region, just off Baja California area is uh, showing some activity as well with the 3.5. Does It really hasn't made it up north here yet along the plate boundary, uh, Southern California area northward, but it could very well fill in. What do we got there? 3.2. Uh, southern end, it looks like here. Maybe even off the Middle America Trench, but uh, all right, we'll just watch things. going to be, uh, I think, a busy day here, so we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later. Stay safe.